Gaming Gamers back again for another PBR battle. And here's that new team I was talking about for I don't know how long. I, I've mentioned it a couple times. Anyway, it's probably not obvious what the strategy is outright, but it is in fact a gravity team. Because, you know, with the release of Hargold and Soul Silver, you can get gravity on some pretty awesome Pokemon. So Stantler or, La or Alakazam can set up gravity. Alakazam can. Blah, 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 tongue tied. Alakazam can set it up quickly, and then sweep, and Stantler can set it up, and then put people to sleep, and confuse Ray. So Alakazam is fast, Stantler is annoying. Depending on what the opponent has is who I send out. And all the other Pokemon, with the exception of Rapidash, uh, because it's a filler, have Protect and a bunch of awesome, powerful, but not accurate moves. And in case you don't know what I'm getting at, uh, Gravity increases... E accuracy of all moves. So if you have a 75 accuracy move, it's now 100%. So that's the basis behind this. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I, uh, here, I see that he has a Raichu, and I see that Raichu is probably going to use an electrical attack on Golduck. So it's probably a wise decision to protect. And I know most Magmortars also carry Thunderbolt. So it's definitely a good idea to protect my. Golduck for now, because I, it really is very useful, uh, in this battle anyway, and Alakazam goes ahead and uses gravity, and now the air in the Colosseum is getting heavy, and just as I thought, Raichu uses Thunderbolt on Golduck, but, pff, you know, I'm behind a magical shield, you can't hurt me, and Magmortar goes for a flamethrower on Alakazam, and it doesn't bring me down to my sash, I was like, what? Awesome. So Alakazam can take some, uh, take some punishment there. So anyway, now I go for a Psychic on the Raichu, and I thought it might have a Focus Sash, so I was debating here whether to just go for the kill on the Magmortar, or go for Blizzard to make sure the Raichu dies. Uh, in the end, I think I wound up just going for the Magmortar, because I know they can carry Thunderbolt too, and, you know, it probably... It's probably a good idea just to finish it now, because I think... Did I bring Sceptile for this battle? I think so. Yeah, I don't actually use it, though. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead and Hydro Pump and completely destroy it. I mean, Life Orb, Hydro Pump from a water type, like Golduck, you're, you're dead. Goodbye, Magmortar. So anyway, he, uh, he goes down quite nicely to my Hydro Pump. And for some reason, he went for Alakazam, which makes me think... That Magmortar probably was gonna Thunderbolt my Golduck, so it was, I guess it was a good job, I did kill it. Anyway, Alakazam is gone, which kinda sucks, but then again, you know, I can get another Pokemon out here. <laughs> now, this, <coughs> excuse me, send out my, uh, Mainetric here. Um, yeah, I sort of failed, because in my haste to test out this team, I completely forgot to EV my main Etric. I am an absolute doofus sometimes. I'll be the first person to admit, at times, I am an absolute idiot. So, yeah. Um, luckily, though, you know, it still outspeeds the... You know, what am I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just blabbering on. So, anyway. Raichu goes for Protect, and uh, Goduck goes for Blizzard. Which, by the way, I forgot to mention, Golduck is awesome. It outsped this Raichu, and it's also outsped a Garchomp before. So it is a freaking awesome Golduck. Anyway, I get a crit on the Guard of War, which is really nice, because otherwise the Thunder wouldn't have killed it, because, you know, it's not EV'd. I'm an idiot. So, yeah, Guard of War goes down. He was probably... I don't know what he was going to do, to be honest. Maybe Trick Room? I don't know, because Raichu protected, and that's kind of weird. Uh, but... I don't know, Trick Room, Raichu? It seems kind of strange, but, you know, it could happen. I I would be crazy enough to do it. <coughs> so here, I'm uh, just checking to see what ability he has, and it turns out it's not uh, Thunder Rod. <laughs> Thunder Rod. Lightning Rod? I'm... Uh, yeah. Turns out it's not uh, Lightning Rod, so I'm actually going to get a completely different main metric. Same moves. I'm just going to make sure it has Thunder Rod. Thunder Rod! Right. And I'm going to make sure it's EV. <laughs> 
So, here I go for a Blizzard, because I need to finish off the Raichu, and Blizzard hits both, so it'll be sure to die. Like so. Bam! And it does a fair amount of damage to a Gallade, considering Gallade has pretty good special defense, and it's unstabbed. So, that was a pretty good hit from Golduck there. And Mainetri goes for the Thunder, and this is where I figured out, um... It's not dead. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's where I figured out that it wasn't EV'd, and unfortunately he gets completely haxed, and gets paralyzed, and then gets paralyzed again. Kinda sucked for him. Anyway, now I'm just choosing random moves, because it doesn't really matter, because his icon disappeared rather quickly, and that makes me think it's a give up. Which it is. So anyway, uh, next fight, I will probably have the same team, because I recorded two today. And probably, well, eventually I'll replace the Rapidash with another Pokemon. It, it's gonna be a fire type, uh, because, you know, I need, I need a fire blast spammer, but anyway, see.